is really the star of the show. It's something pretty special and pretty unique. It's Le Bon. Fits beautifully in my hand, doesn't it? Strategically, Le Bon opens up a whole new marketplace for us in China. And it sets the stage for us in the global mobility space. It levers, leverages Lenovo's experience in both PCs and phones to create something exciting, something new, something very different. And this device is just beautifully designed. Look at it. Unbelievable. And I like to start there when we talk about the phone. Let's start across the front. 60 millimeters wide. A 3.7 inch crystal clear high resolution screen. 800 by 480. Pretty neat. And look, we've incorporated a, a camera on the front for all that next generation of video conferencing and around video chat. And I think this is pretty cool. Look, nowhere on the front is a button. No buttons, just a secondary touch area that I can move back and forth. Back, menu, I can find anywhere just by a simple swipe or touch of, of that secondary touch area of the phone. It's like having never lost for your smartphone. Well, let's take a look at the side. That's really interesting too. Just 12 millimeters thin. If you're taking a picture, I probably should tilt it to make sure you can still see the device in my hand. On this side, we also have the volume control, up and down, and a really powerful nine pin connector, allowing us to connect charging and a whole set of peripherals around speakers, game controllers, docking, pretty neat. Now let's swing around to this side. On this side, we've created a function key. This function key, hold it down, and I can do gesture-based navigation, like in Google Maps. I simply move the phone, tilt it left, tilt it right, holding that button, and look, it changes the experience on the screen with Le Phone. That's pretty neat. It's pretty cool indeed. Now across the bottom, we have a three and a half millimeter audio jack. Pretty beautiful. And then across the top, oh, I skipped the top. I'll go back to the top for you on that. that I went to the three millimeter bottom turn. Let's do the top now. One touch, the screen locks. Press and hold it, the screen turns off. Now let's swing around to the back. Sorry for those guys in the back, I'm throwing them off there. In the back, you've got a second camera for your traditional video capture, your still photographs. And then what's also neat, an all day, all uh, always on battery. And we've heard what everyone said. It's replaceable, very easily. You try to do that with your iPhone. And it's a heck of a lot thinner than a Blackberry. Now, I think it's pretty neat what you can do with this phone. But let's jump back to this 9-pin connector again. Let's take a look. I've already mentioned that we'll be able to connect charging, speakers, game controllers. But how about this? How about a docking station where I can simply clip the phone into the unit, and now I have a full-function keyboard. The device is locked in embedding our capabilities of PC and phone together, almost creating what Young Chin talked about, a mini PC. Now, on the bottom, built-in speakers, and I have another battery in here. So not only have I got all-day power with my regular battery, but I have all-night power with my docking station. And that's the kind of power you need here in Las Vegas, all-day and all-night.